One of the most important relationships in the world is that of a mother and its child. So when we look at that, when we unfold that relationship a little further, So the relationship between a mother and its child is that of blood. Through the blood, the fetus that is growing in the mother's womb receives nutrients. And it's also a relationship of breath. So bada dunga bhati gera relationship hundaya, sanband hundaya, ek maat teo de bachche de So the relationship between a mother and a child is very deep. It's very special and unique. Such is the relationship between us and our mother ji, tantan mata, saib ji. So let's all immerse in that and the love for the mother of the Khalsa Pan, Tantan Mata Sahib Goji, and just look at one of the many different aspects of their life, um, and that is the relationship between our mother, Mata Sahib Goji, and our father, Tantan Shri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Looking back in time a little bit, Mata Ji, when they were young, they were known to have all of the qualities, all of the virtues that made them fit to be the wife of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. So, O Sarb Gun San that means they had all of the virtues, all of the qualities. So they were humble, they had humility, they were kind, they were compassionate, they had Seva Pavana, that means they were willing to do Seva at all times. O Sad Sangat Devich Bakke Nitnim Kardi Hunde Sige, Bani Pardi Hunde Sige. So they would read Barney within the Sad Sangat and they would also serve the Sad Sangat as well. So they would do Nishkam Seva, Seva that is done without wanting anything in return, without any sort of de desires, Nishkam, without any calm, so without any desires. So Mataji already had that, that Nirmal Man, without any mal, it was very pure and immaculate, just like them. Because of the qualities that Mataji had to, in, from the beginning, um, their father announced within the Sangha that they are fit to be the wife of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And then after this big announcement by their father, they were known as Mata Sahib Deva Ji. So as a wife, Mata Sahib Ji, they literally, they gave themselves up completely and they would serve Guru Ji day and night. Just like we read in Anand Sahib, Tan Man Tan Sab Sab Guru Ko Hukam Manaya Paiya That Tan, that give up this body, this Tan, Man, this mind and Tan, your wealth, give everything up and do what instead? Hukam Manaya Paiya That listen to the Hukam, the command of the Guru and that's literally what Mataji would do. Just like there is that relationship between a mother and a child is a very special bond. The relationship between a husband and a wife is, is similar. It's a very special bond. Every time that Guru Gobind Singh Ji would come back from a battle or, or what have you, Mataji would have a palang, a bed ready for them, and Guruji would sit on that, and then Mataji would serve them food first before even eating anything. So Mataji would immerse themselves in Simran and Nam and Barney while preparing the langar, and then they would give langar to Guru Pita, and then and after Guru Pita have, have eaten the langar, only then Mataji would have langar after. That's the type of love that they had. They had that Sharda Pavna, that they want to serve their husband, they want their blessings. And it's not that Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji didn't look after Mataji. Guru Gobind Singh Ji looked after Mataji. And how did they do that? By blessing them with the son, their child, you can say. Um, which is the Khalsa Pan. They gave up their four sons to keep that one son alive. Mataji asked for a son. And obviously Guruji being the Yalu and Guruji are the one that din da de land de thak pai de jeda din da hi rehnda ya din da de land de thak pai jeda din da hi rehnda ya thak da nahi hai ga so every time we ask for anything from guru ji they always they obviously give it to us wo thak de nahi hai kade they never get tired we get tired of receiving sometimes but guru ji why guru ji they never get tired of giving and such was the case so mata ji asked for a child and they gave the khalsa panth us their children and 
placed us in the in the choli in the lap of Tanta Mata Sahib Kaurji. How blessed are we to call Mataji, who are, are full of these virtues, full of these qualities that made them suitable for Guru Gobind Singh Ji. They are the Shakti. How blessed are we to have such a mother? When it was time for Guruji to leave this body, to leave this earth, and become one with Vai Guruji, Mata Sahib Kaurji were told by Guru Gobind Singh Ji to go back to Delhi, where Mata Sundari Ji were, just so that they can be safer there. And upon hearing this, Mataji was just shocked. It's as if like everything just coming to an end for them. And they said, how am I gonna live without you? Seriously, how am I gonna live without you? I don't even eat without your darshan. How am I gonna survive in this world without even your darshan, without even looking at you? The one that we, that beloved, our beloved, the one that we feel so much love, so much pyar for, this agya mar chaliya, that sacrifice yourself completely. And then, trig jeevan sansar, taake paache jeevana, that this entire world is a barren land for me. Taake paache jeevana, ki hon mein ki gara, taade picho mein ki gara ni. I, what kind of life is it going to be <laughs> without you? And then Guru Gobind Singh Ji said something very beautiful and they said that the relationships that are formed just by physical physical bodies or just, just physicality, it can be any relationship. You can think of the relationship between a child and a mother, husband and a wife, brother and a sister, any relationship you can think of between friends even. If you're thinking of that relationship, okay, that person needs to be there physically with me, to comfort me, to nurture me, to, to help me physically, those relationships are not stable. Yes, we need that physical interaction. We are social beings. But at the end of the day, the, what kind of relationship should we truly have? Guruji said, we should have a soul-to-soul -soul connection. That by having a soul-to-soul -soul connection, we won't be attached to that person. We won't be attached to even an object. We won't be attached to anything. And how did Mataji and Guruji form that soul-to-soul -soul connection? Because they had Gurbani as their foundation. Gurbani, Shabd Guru, was the foundation of their entire relationship. So when a couple is getting married, they do Lama around Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they're basically taking vows and they're saying, okay, we are surrendering ourselves, we're surrendering our Tan Man Tan to you, Guruji, and we're going to listen to you, we're going to follow your command. Please help us live a life, such a life that you are and will always be the center of our universe. Of our world and when you have a foundation that's built upon trust honesty compassion love and gurbani that relationship is the one that lasts that's the type of sikhya that guru gobind singh ji were giving mataji and mataji said Satabacha. they said whatever you're saying whatever your command your message your teaching is true and i will follow it so then another question came into mataji's mind and they said Okay, what would I what will I do if I want to do your darshan? Because until you eat the langar that has been made, I don't eat myself. And until I get your darshan, I don't do anything. What am I gonna do if I want to get your darshan? If I want to see you? Guru Gobind Singh Ji said at the Sevada, they said, bring Panch Shastra. And then the Sevada brought Panchastra and they basically, they said to do Prakash of these Shastras and every time you look at these Shastras, you will see me in them. The funny part is, we see Maharaj everywhere. In Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Maharaj are Pratak, they are right in front of us. They are in, within the Shastras, they are in Gurbani, they are, in, they are the Shabad Guru. And sometimes we feel okay. Why don't you come to us? Why don't you hug us? Um, why aren't you helping us out? I'm stranded. Why aren't you helping me out? Even that one instant of positivity that comes into our minds whenever we're feeling low is Maharaj helping us out. Whenever we call out to our mother, Mata Sahib Gauji, they come to us every single time. Have we ever called out to our mother? That's something that we should think about. Every time we're in need, every, it doesn't matter if we're going through happy times or sad times, these waves come in any relationship. 
it could be whether we're having a fight or if a husband and wife is having a fight or having a fight with their parents. It could be anything. Just staying silent and being the observer and not reacting to the person that is um, that is angry or is feeling certain type of emotions. Um, just not reacting to it and just being the observer is a way to calm down the situation. So these are the type of qualities we should look into. A partner, for example, is that of of Sikhi. If Sikhi exists, if Sikhi is a bhutta in a person, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to flourish. Then you two are going to flourish together. You're gonna, you two will stay strong together. You will build a strong foundation and a good bond. Don't look at the physicality. Look at the soul-to-soul -soul connection. If that connection exists, then that's that's what you should be looking at. You should be looking at uh, making good money, the foundation of that relationship. If that's there, then everything will go well. So these are the type of teachings that Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the relationship uh, between Guru Gobind Singh Ji and Mata Sahib Ji give us. Please forgive me for all the mistakes I've made. You are the Sat Sangat. You can bless me such that I do more prachar, I do more seva as a Sangat. Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa.